Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we are going to talk about whether or not I can read 50 books in a month. Wish me luck. All right, friends. So I have a massive stack of middle grade here, massive, that I am planning on reading for the middle grade March readathon. Happens every year in March, hosted by these lovely women. And I have participated for the last two years officially. This is year three, it's gonna happen. So, for those of you guys that don't know, Middle Grade March is a month long readathon where you focus on reading middle grade. Um, they can be any type style if you participate, fantastic. And I love reading middle grade. I love reading books from my past. I love reading new middle grade, love it all. And I have accumulated over the last lifetime, last couple years, quite a collection of middle grade. And I'm particularly focused this month on reading newer releases slash just stuff that I've accumulated because I wanna see what the good stuff is out there. I focus only on reading middle grade for the month of March and I try to hit 50 books. Last year I did garbage. I think I read three. <laughs> I was so bad at it. I think the first year I did it, I think I hit like 25. So I got pretty close or maybe 30. I got pretty close. I got not close, but like I got a pretty good chunk of them in. Um, and I will accompany, I will say too, I read like children's slash middle grade. So like some of my stuff I will read skews a bit younger, but most of it I try to do is like middle grade, younger child, older child. What's the age range? Like eight to 12, I think technically is middle grade. I don't know. Um, but yeah, not for a young adult. Children are the target audience. Anyways. I have a bunch of books here. I don't even know if this is 50. I just pulled off a majority of the middle grade off my shelves that I'm interested in reading sooner rather than later. And we're gonna talk about it. I don't know what most of these books are about. A lot of them, like I said, are newer releases, but I figured I would show them to you guys and you guys can let me know which ones you're excited for me to read, which ones you guys are planning on reading if you wanna participate in the month of March. I also, as well, I will say, will leave the challenges down below, which I'm gonna try to hit. Um, as well as the tag the channel members that are hosting the readathon down in the comments below. So keep eyes for that if you want to participate and kind of follow along with everything that they're doing because I think it's great. Okay, so let's talk about some of the books that I'm going to be reading. Starting off with The Girl Who Lost a Leopard by Nizrana Far Farouk. Um, this is about um, a girl who is friends with a leopard think pretty self-explanatory. Love books that are essentially in other cultures and other worlds. I love an animal storybook. I think this one's going to be great and it's pretty short as well too. Next, I'm obsessed, obsessed with this cover. This is Tangled in Time, The Portal by Katherine Lansky. This just looks beautiful. I don't know a whole lot of what this is about, but I think it's like a time traveling, yeah, teleportation story. So it's basically about a girl named Rose who basically it's teleported through her grandmother's greenhouse, which sounds amazing. Next, we have The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundle. This is about, again, a child's connection with a wolf. This is about a girl named Theo who her and her mother trained domesticated wolves to fend for themselves in the snowy wilderness of Russia. Interesting. Sorry if I'm going through these kind of quick. There's a lot of them. Next, we have one of my favorite middle grade authors. This is Eva Ibbotson. This is the Abdom Abominable. I can say that word. Abominables. Abom Adom Abominables. <laughs> Why does that sound wrong? Anyways, uh, this is, I'm assuming, about kids that go to the Himalayas and find some abominables. <laughs> I can speak, I promise. Okay, next we have a book by Sandy Stark McGinnis. This is The Space Between Lost and Found. This one's a very short one, so I'm hoping I can read this in like a sitting. This is essentially about a girl named Cassie who her mom, I think, gets dementia. Yeah, and this is about a girl, this is one by Extraordinary Birds, I think I've read too as well by her, and I really, really loved it. So when I saw she had a new one come out, I wanted to pick it up. 
Next, we have Caterpillar Summer by Jillian McDunn. This is another one I've heard quite a bit about, and this is about a girl named Cat whose younger brother is named Chicken, and they get sent to spend time with their grandparents on a place called Gingerbread Island. And they're gonna be really cute. I think their rep in this will be great, and I'm excited about it. Next, we have one that I've been wanting to read for a while. This is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This got made into a movie a couple years ago. I think it's about a girl who's uh, or a boy whose mom gets cancer. Yeah, and the monster that kind of comes from it. I think this will be really, really beautiful. Probably hard to read, and the visuals of this, like the illustrations, like oh, it's gonna be good. Next, another one that's recently getting turned into a show. I saw this pop up recently. This is Kate the Camilio. This is the Magician's Elephant. And I, this is by the author of The Tale of Despero, and I'm really excited to see this. I think this will be super, super cute. It's about a guy named, or an orphan named Peter, who's trying to find his sister. I think that's going to be really cute and short, so I think it'll be fun. Another one we have that just has the most beautiful cover. This is Hurricane Season by Nicole Melby. This is about Fig, who's a sixth grader, and um, her father starts having some mental health problems and starts talking about um, just the girl and living her life and just the things that she's struggling with in that season. So I think it's gonna be really beautiful, heartbreaking, and the cover, again, stunning. Next, we have Tune It Out by Jamie Summer. This is about a girl who loves to sing but then gets separated by from her mother by Child Protective Services. And I think just her trying to navigate that. Again, the thing that I love about middle grade is it's like real world situations because I don't read a lot of contemporary like young adult and adult, but like middle grade for whatever reason, like just is, takes that little snippet of life where like something crazy happens and then they just have to navigate through that for whatever reason. And it usually kind of takes on an element of its own, and I love that, so I'm excited for this. Shifting gears into a little bit more fantasy, this is Grump by Liesl Stern Sturriff, and this is essentially the fairly true tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, I believe told from Grumpy's perspective, which I think sounds adorable, and I love the cover of these, they're just so cute. Okay, I might be saving this for my Dragon series, which I think is coming in August, I've decided, or we're kind of we'll see how this goes. But this is The Land of Aurora by Jenny McKellen, and this is essentially about a kid named Arthur and Rose Trout, who were heroes of Aurora, the imaginary land they created together. Um, and basically, it kind of seems like it has like Bridge to Terabithia kind of vibes to it, which I think will be really, really cute. And potentially Mary, maybe sad, as I'm saying that out loud, Bridge to Terabithia, not a happy book. Okay, another one that I'm excited to read just purely for the illustrations. This is Firefly Hollow, which looks like it's going to be a super fun read. This is basically about, let's see, Cricket and Firefly, um, who meet a Peter, na a giant named Peter. And I think if it's these two little characters, I think they may run into a human and adventures will ensue. I think it's going to be cute. Another dragon book that we might be reading early this year is Hatching Magic. This is basically about Theodora, whose father has run off to the jungles of Laos without her, and about a dragon who basically disappears through a magic hole in time when looking to place her egg. Seems fascinating, seems cute, seems quirky. I like it. Another one we have is Willa of the Woods by Robert Bettany. This is about a girl who is a night spirit of the Smoky Mountains, which sounds fascinating. Again, I'm trying not to read too much into these, but I think it's going to be really good. And I think I actually got the sequel recently as well, too, but I don't know where it is. But it's somewhere, and I'm excited. Okay. This one is really high up on my list. I really think I'm gonna get to this one pretty soon. This is Tentacle and Wing. This is by Sarah Porter. And this is essentially about a girl whose father, she's born with animal and human DNA, thanks to a genetic experiment gone wrong. And she gets shipped off to a quarantine school, I think has to learn about how to like adapt to the world around her. This I'm genuinely really excited about. I think it's gonna be really, really good. And I'm very excited about it. All right, this is My Last Summer with Cass by Mark Creeley. I actually don't know if this is middle grade, but it's about two people that essentially get separated in like their last summer together. 
um, before Cass moves away to New York. So I think that'll be really cool. Oh, also the cover on this, this edition. Beautiful, beautiful look. I'm very excited about it. Next, we have a very popular middle grade, which is When You Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller. And I'm very excited about this. This, I think they're trying to, oh yeah, so they're trying to heal her sick grandmother um, from Lily, who um, makes a deal, yeah, with a tiger to try and help save her grandmother, I think. So super cute, award-winning, it won a Newberry. You know it's going to be good. Okay, next, switching over to a very popular middle grade author. This is Rick Riordan. This is Daughter of the Deep. This is a Poseidon retelling, or I forget kind of where the spinoff with this one is, but basically it's about a girl named Anna who goes to Harding Pencroft Academy, a five-year high school that graduates best marine scientists, naval warriors, navigators, and underwater explorers. Seems exciting. I haven't read a Rick Riordan since the Peter Jackson series, so I'm really excited to read Percy Jackson series, so I'm really excited to read this one. More middle grade. Speaking of other popular authors, this is Holly Black and Cassandra Clare's book, The Iron Trial, the Magisterium series. I'm excited to try this one out. I've never read, no, I have read from both these authors before and enjoyed them. I think this will be an interesting mashup of the two together, so I'll be interested to see how I like this one. Okay, another one that's pretty high up on my list, I'm not gonna lie, this is The Hat Makers by Tasman Merchant, and this is essentially about a magical family that makes magical hats, and I think this one seems really, really cute and quirky and, like, fun family dynamics, and, like, I just imagine, like, a fun uncle, an aunt, and that are all, like, quirky, and everybody kind of, like, the Robinsons, like that Disney movie from way back in the day, like, I feel like it's just got that kind of vibe to it, and I'm really excited about it. Okay, a series I'm gonna try to finish, even though there's only two of them in the series as of right now, this might make it a mess. This is the Mystic School of Magic, no, Mystic School of Music Craft by Jessica Cowrie. This is one of my favorite middle grade authors. She wrote the Skyborn series right behind me, which I loved last year. And this is one of her new series. And this is basically about a school of magical music, which sounds amazing. So this is the first one in the series. And this is the second one, The Midnight Orchestra. And I think the third one actually comes out this year. So I'm hoping if I like these, I'll continue in the series because I'm desperate for new books from her. Okay, we're almost done. Like I said, I have no idea if this is even remotely close to 50, but this is where we're at. <laughs> Um, the next one I want to read is Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. This is another award-winning Newbery Prize winning book. This is essentially a about a girl named Minley who listens to her father spin fantastical tales of the Jade Dragon and the Old Man of the Moon. So I just think this one sounds like a fantastical like kind of like uh, Spirited Away vibes. I'm just kind of getting that from this and I think it's going to be really really good. All right, last couple ones that I'm interested in trying to get to during the month of March. The first one is The Ichabog, Ichabog? Yeah, by J.K. Rowling. This one I'm very interested in just because I haven't read a J.K. Rowling book since Harry Potter, and that's been a very long time, and obviously she's come out with quite a few books since then. I don't know. I just am interested to see what this is about. I feel like it'll be an interesting read. She's regardless of everything, a very talented author. I think we all can agree. So I'll be interested to see how this one goes. Okay. And the last two that I'm kind of excited to get to because they just give me like Toy Story vibes for some reason, but like Toy Story 3 vibes. And that is They Threw Us Away by Daniel Krause and They Stole Our Hearts also by Daniel Krause. So these seem like they're teddy bear, like, like I said, Toy Story 3 vibes of like, toys that get abandoned. I feel like it kind of is going to be sad. It'll make me feel bad about my toys that I gave away as a kid, but I think it's going to be really cute. And um, yeah, there's fun illustrations as well. So that's always a good time. <laughs> all right, friends, that was a lot of books to get through. I don't even know if I'm going to end up reading half of these, all of these, most of these throughout the year, throughout the month of March. I'm hoping to get to, like I said, as many as possible. We'll see if that happens. Wish me luck. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what, if or when you're wanting to participate in Middle Grade March, what you're excited to read, what you're excited to see me read. Might, might be doing a reading vlog. We'll see. 
we'll see. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in down in the comments below and I can, we'll find out together what I end up getting to in the month of March. But yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to see more of my face and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.